Hi guys, this is Isa from Printstick and in this video I will talk about Printstick's latest release which is this cute washi sticker book. So I'm gonna quickly show you all of the washi that's included in the download. You have all these different patterns with different colors each. These pieces are ready to be used. All you have to do is select them with your lasso tool, copy and paste them on the page where you want to use them. And you also have these uh, color papers with patterns and solid colors. So this is the first page that you're gonna see when you open your file and all of these are links but they might not be as obvious so I'm going to go through all of them so you can see what they do and where the actual links are. So the first thing here in the corner, all of these icons will take you to different websites for my social media as well as the shop and our Facebook group. So if you haven't joined, you can just tap here, click yes and it'll take you to the Facebook page where you can request to join. If you tap on any of the washi strips, it's going to take you to the page of the book that has that particular pattern. To go back to the first page to select another pattern, just click on the top right corner on this little symbol and then it'll take you back to this first page. Then for example, if you're looking for these dots, you click on the dots and you'll go to that page with the washi that has that pattern. Now just know that this um, file it has all the washi strips ready to use so if you tap on your lasso tool here on the top middle bar and then you just select the washi that you want to use you just you know select it with the lasso tool draw a circle on it and then it's ready to be used. So obviously you have to tap on it and click on copy. Please do not click on cut because then you will not be able to reuse this washi another time. So just make a circle, tap on it and click copy. And then you can go to your planner, tap and hold and click paste. And then you have your washi. You can repeat this process as many times as you want. Now, if you want to use more than one piece in your planner pages, and in case you didn't know, you can just use the same lasso tool. And instead of just uh, selecting one piece, you can select two or three or four at a time. And then do the same, hit copy, go to your page, tap and hold and click paste. And then you have several pieces that you can use individually. To resize, just uh, make the circle with your lasso tool, tap and click on resize and then you can adjust the size so you can use as a header or, or anything else you want. Now going back to the book, um, let me just, you know, so as I said, all of these here are designs, all of these on this other bar as these are designs as well. So you have a total of 16 washi designs in different colors and sizes. But also, as a little bonus, you have um, solid colors and patterns at the end of the book. I'm going to show you how to get to those. So click on the no pen icon so you can activate your links. And then all of these dots, I'm just going to show you with the last tool. All of these dots here are also linked. So just so you know, when you tap on them, you will go to that particular pattern page. And you have not one, but three patterns on each page. Same thing, to go back, click on the same button as before and select a different pattern or color. If you click on the color dot, you will go to a page also with three options, but these are colors. Now you're wondering, what am I going to do with these patterns and these colors? So there's different things you can do. One is just use the whole page kind of as a scrapbook page. So if you add a photo, tap and hold, click on image. And now you can literally just use this page, you know, as a scrapbooking page. You can start writing directly here. Just add photos or text from another app or anything else you want. So you can get really creative here. But really, my idea with these pages, let me show you, is to help you make your own shapes or even your washi, kind of. I will show you what I'm talking about. So use your lasso tool again and make a square, selecting almost the whole color so you have a bigger area to work with. Then you only have the option to take a screenshot, tap there. Then click on this export icon on the top right corner of this little window. Drag the bottom bar to the left a little bit so you see this little icon that says copy. Tap on it. 
and then you have that copied so if you go to your planner or your album or whatever you want to work with this tap and hold and click paste and then you have this little um, rectangle in this color so you can use this again in different ways for example add another photo make it smaller and then this will work as a frame so if you go back to your washi book you have you know all of these colors that you can use as uh frames or another way to use them again let's make a square selecting a color tap and click on take screenshot again copy go to where you want to place it tap and hold click paste but this time type tap again on the image and select crop so here you can play with the rectangle uh, option and make squares rectangles change the orientation of your rectangle if you're going to use as a frame or you can also click on freehand on the bottom here and then use your pencil or your finger to just draw a shape that you want so this i'm drawing a heart click on done then you have your very own shape that you created you can rotate you can resize and you can start using this to create kind of like your own uh, scrapbook page then there's different uh, tricks that you can use in case that you're using this as a scrapbooking page you can for example use your white pencil white because we have a black background so it'll uh, stand out a little more and then just go around your new shape that you just created Wee, my hand is a little shaky and make an outline you could select this entire shape and if you tap and click on color you can change the color of your outline and it's obviously only going to change the lines that you drew because it cannot it does not have the capacity to change the color of the original shape if that makes sense you know it's a very easy nice little way to add different effects and shapes to your planner page or as i said if you're interested in creating like scrapbooking pages and such so you have those color pages but you can do exactly the same with these patterns that are also included in uh, the washi book so for example I'll, I'll show you something else you can do make another rectangle select an area take screenshot export copy go to your planner let me get rid of these ones that i'm not going to use and then tap and hold click paste resize i'm going to use this as a header so just make sure that it's the size of your box you can zoom in if you need to okay now tap outside of the image to deselect and then you can use your uh, pencil of any color you want i'm gonna pick this dark gray and write your word or whatever you want this header to say and that's like a nice little way that you have of creating your own headers and really your own digital stickers or this could be considered washi on its own so you know you have all of your creativity to use all of this that's included in the washi sticker book you can also use your words here cut and paste to place it on top and then you can also place it over the washi strip and well of course as you probably know the main purpose of this digital washi is to use it as you would use an actual piece of washi on real paper so i'll show you i'll select the piece tap and click on copy go to my page tap and hold paste then tap and hold again image photos I'll go to my favorites. I have this one here. Remember, you can rotate with this green dot. I will rotate this bit and then go make it smaller so it fits down here. And if I want to use this washi on top of it, first of all, I need to cut it because it's right now it's behind it and it's not going to work. So just select it, cut, tap and hold, paste. And now it's on top you can also resize from here maybe around there but obviously you want to rotate it so tap on the washi and hold and click on edit then you get this green dot this is kind of like a little glitch of good notes so that if you resize here it's 
it's gonna mess up the size so if you want to resize please use the lasso tool tap and click on resize that will work and that is accurate so the other method is only to rotate okay so click on edit don't mind the size don't worry about it for now and then just use the green dot to rotate you can see when it's kind of like the angle that you want and when you find that just tap somewhere else and then you have it rotated and on the size that you wanted you can copy this and paste it again to put it on the bottom so yeah i hope that this gives you a good idea or some ideas of what you can do with this cute little product so when you buy it you know how to use it exactly of course i'm gonna leave a link below where you can get it please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it don't forget to subscribe to be notified whenever i upload a new video and thank you so much for watching see you next time